Welcome back to the kitchen. We're back. Where have you been the last few months? Well, see, the last episode, it was like the season finale and stuff, and now we're back. This is season two. Oh, don't give me that season two bullshit. You barely had ten episodes. That's like not even half a season. Yeah, but like, you ever see that show The Walking Dead on AMC? They they do that. They have like the half seasons, and then and then it's one long season, but it's two half seasons. Don't, do not compare yourself to The Walking Dead. And why are you wearing the Mardi Gras stuff again anyway? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. See, tonight, we're returning to the Cajun kitchen, and we're doing a jambalaya alternative. I call it white jambalaya. Um, honey, that's just the name you made up for the dish. There's literally nothing to do with jambalaya except just rice. Well, you don't even use Cajun seasoning. It's kind of so... Babe, take off the hat. But I'll have hat hair. The hat has to go, and the beads, too. Anyway, tonight's dish comes to us from a good friend of mine, you might remember her from our Memorial Day episode, my Nubian queen sister, Lubette. Shout out to you, girl. All right, this is getting out of control. Let's just go to the grocery store. To the grocery store! We're here at the grocery store. We're just gonna pick up a few simple things. You're gonna wanna grab one or two red bell peppers, a package of snow peas, one onion, some chicken, some steak, uh, white rice, and a couple seasonings like steak seasoning, all-purpose, paprika, a lot of black pepper, and a big old can of cream of mushroom soup. But you can't have cream. Oh, please. You really think there's actual cream in, in this? This isn't real food. Anyway, let's head back to the kitchen and get started. Step one, prepare your rice and veggies. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start by making about two cups of white rice. Then you're gonna cut up your veggies and you're gonna start cooking them. You should know all of this stuff already. What I'm gonna do after the rice is done is I then put it with the veggies and fry it, just like I was making fried rice. It actually comes out really good. You add a little soy sauce, maybe a tad of teriyaki. So, and then you season it with some black pepper and some all-purpose, and that's gonna come out really good. Also, while we're at it, I want to give another shout out that you guys are watching. The dude in the kitchen has gone ceramic. No more of those crappy Teflon pots and pans. We're using all ceramics now. It's healthier, it's cleaner, and it's really trendy. Step two, meat business. Once your rice and veggies are situated, it's time to get down to the meat business. Now, this dish uses both chicken and steak. My beloved Lubeth adds shrimp to her dish, but we ain't down with the seafood here. What you're gonna do with the steak is you're gonna cut it into chunks, and we actually boil it in steak seasonings and water until it's very tender and well done. Go look at that. With the chicken, we keep that into whole cutlets, and we season it heavily with paprika, uh, black pepper, all-purpose, and then we cook it until it's extremely well done. Once it is well done, as you can see here, we add in some of the cream of mushroom soup all over it. You might need to add some water, but we'll do that here in a second. Yeah, just pour that soup all over it. You're going to mix that up. Let's add a little bit of water. Should be good. Anyway, you're gonna cook this together until the soup is creamy and, and thin and rich and all this is mixed well. And then you're gonna drain your beef. And that's it for step two. Step three, bring it all together. And man, do I love it when a plan comes together. So what you're gonna do, like I was saying, you're gonna drain out your steak. I actually used the pot that we boiled the steak in to cook everything together at the end. It's just for us, there's more space that way. You're gonna mix it all up with the rice and the veggies, and here we come with the chicken. So let's take this chicken and mushroom soup mix, and we're just gonna add it over the top, very slow and carefully. We don't wanna make a mess. And once all that's in there, we're gonna stir it up, mix it together, and then that's it, you're done. Now, 
I must admit, it probably won't be the prettiest thing you've ever cooked, but it's going to taste awesome, and your chick's going to love it. All right, dudes, let's see how we did. All right, it's time for the moment of truth. All right, chick, dig in. Tell me what you think. Mmm. It's good, but I'm not really impressed by you. What? Lou Beth came up with this recipe. Yeah, but like she used like, you know, the frozen veggies and, you know, the assorted stuff and shrimp. You know, I, I was the all natural, fresh produce, good seasoning stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's really my recipe. That's good. Okay, as long as you like it. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, dudes are going to like to cook this for chicks, right? Okay, good. Let's eat! Oh, look, the hat's back. Sure is. Anyway. We had a lot of fun. I'm really happy to be back on camera for you guys. We started the season off with a really simple, easy dish. Oh, next week is Thanksgiving. Can you make meatloaf for my family? Meatloaf? It's so good. Well, I mean, meatloaf is one of my specialties. Pretty much a staple of the dude's cookbook. And I guess I have been withholding it from you dudes for some time. So, yes, we will make a Thanksgiving meatloaf next time. Until then, stay handsome, everybody. Good night. Catch us on Facebook and Instagram with hashtag the dude in the kitchen. See you on Thanksgiving. Good night.